There are a wide variety of iodine solution formulations for use in chemical tests, medical treatments, as a diagnostic reagent, as a disinfectant, as histological reagent, as a biological stain, and also in dental procedures. Iodine on its own is insoluble in water, since I2 is a nonpolar covalent molecule. On the other hand, potassium iodide, which is a polar ionic compound, dissolves in water, which is a polar solvent. When potassium iodide dissolves in water, it ionizes to K plus and I minus. So when iodine crystals are added to a solution containing dissolved potassium iodide, the iodine ions I minus present in the solution will react with elemental iodine I2 to form the complex triiodide ion I3 minus. The triiodide anion being negatively charged will dissolve or ionize in water. The triiodide ions may further react with an elemental iodine molecule to form pentaiodide ion and so on. In this video, we'll mainly focus on two different preparation protocols for iodine solution. The first type of iodine solution is a dilute approximately 0.1 normal iodine solution commonly used as a reagent for testing the presence of polysaccharides mainly starts in a biological sample. The second protocol will be on the preparation of a special type of solution known as Lugol's iodine or simply aqueous iodine or strong iodine solution. This is more widely used as oral medication to treat certain medical conditions. To watch my video on how to perform the iodine test for polysaccharides, primarily starch, make sure to click on the link given in the screen right now or the link given in the description below. Lugol's iodine was first made in 1829 by the French physician Jean-Guillaume Auguste Lugol. The most commonly used formulation of Lugol's iodine is a mixture of 5% iodine and 10% potassium iodide in distilled water. The reagent used in the iodine test is a dilute aqueous iodine solution prepared by dissolving a certain amount of iodine crystals and potassium iodide in water. It may also be prepared simply by diluting Lugol's iodine solution with a certain amount of water. This solution is used to test and distinguish certain polysaccharides from monosaccharides, disaccharides and other polysaccharides such as cellulose and chitin. A positive iodine test is reflected by the development of color which depends on the type of the polysaccharide. The iodine starch test is also popularly used in plant physiology experiments as an indirect test to check if a plant is photosynthesizing. Starch is formed as a reserve food material primarily in the leaves of plants during photosynthesis. The formation and presence of starch in such plants is confirmed or ruled out using the iodine test. Do check out my photosynthesis related experiment videos to know more about iodine test and photosynthesis. Click on the links given in the description below. To prepare 100 ml each of these two types of iodine solutions, we'll need the following. Elemental iodine resublimed crystals, potassium iodide crystals, distilled water, two beakers of 100 or 250 ml capacities each, two stirring rods, a 100 ml graduated cylinder, two brown bottles with tight fitting caps for storing the prepared solutions, two funnels, weighing scale accurate to at least 1 gram. To prepare 100 ml of dilute approximately 0.1 normal aqueous iodine solution for use in starch detection experiments, first weigh 4 grams of potassium iodide in a teared beaker. Measure 100 ml of distilled water in a graduated cylinder and pour this carefully and completely into the beaker. Gently stir to completely dissolve the iodide salt. Now weigh approximately 1.3 grams of resublimed elemental iodine crystals. Carefully transfer this into the iodine solution in the beaker. Stir to completely dissolve the iodine. This will take some time. Pour the solution into the appropriately labeled brown bottle and cap it tight. 
can also wrap the bottle with aluminum foil to increase the shelf life of the solution. Store the bottle in a cool dark place to prevent the chemical degradation of iodine. Dilute 0.1 normal iodine solution is thus prepared and ready for use as a starch reagent. Lugol's iodine To prepare 100 ml of Lugol's iodine solution, first weigh 10 grams of potassium iodide in the beaker. Now measure 100 ml of distilled water using the graduated cylinder. Pour this into the beaker containing the iodide salt and stir to completely dissolve the salt. Now weigh 5 grams of elemental iodine crystals and add it to the iodide solution. Stir to completely dissolve the iodine crystals. You may warm the beaker on a hot plate to speed up the dissolution of the iodine. Now transfer the solution into the labeled brown bottle and cap it tight. You can also wrap the bottle with aluminum foil to increase the shelf life of the solution. Store the bottle in a cool dark place to prevent the chemical degradation of iodine. Lugol's iodine is thus prepared. To use this solution for testing starch, it may be further diluted with distilled water in a 1 is to 4 or 1 is to 5 ratio. So this is all about the preparation protocols for two types of iodine solutions. Click on the end screen cards shown on the screen right now or the various links given in the description below to watch my other reagent preparation videos and biochemical test videos. Thanks for watching.